Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, broadcasting live from our new shop. Still a work in progress, as you can see, but we're gonna get a, we got the windows in. We're gonna install those this week. We'll get a door. Our arcade machines are set up back there, so we are very excited about this. We're also very excited about new release day. We've got 2019 Topps Allen & Ginter Baseball, 12 box, pick your team, number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. There will be a recap video and a separate video for the relics and autographs. We also have Nick Cam on. So you see Nick right here. Next to me, you see his hands right there. He's gonna help pack sack and then slide the cards over this way in the camera above the jazbeescasebreaks.com logo. Very big thanks to all of these wonderful people right here for getting into the action. There it is, 7, 17, 19, 12 box, PYT2. This break should take about an hour with Nick's help. There's Jonathan with the Dodgers. And then later breaks, these will be a little bit longer. And Eric with the non-baseball spot right down there, of which there are a lot. Let's pop this guy open. And good luck, everybody. I kind of saw the first box that Nick did earlier today. And I saw the last few boxes as well. Seemed to be pretty cool. Ginter is an extremely quirky product. So the people that love it really love it. Even some of the most random autographs, ladies and gentlemen, will sell for a lot because there are a lot of like Ginter fanatics out there who are like building sets and whatnot. All right, there's the box right there. This is my first look at it here. So we're looking for three things per box. Good luck, everybody. Some of you may, may remember um, uh, the boss man, Mike Jasperson, who, who's, who had autographs in here, what, a couple years ago? Yeah. Seven, two years ago? So Mike Jasperson is in the checklist from two years ago, if you want to look at that. But I'm not lying. So, Sean Carson. Okay. All right, good luck, everybody. Oh, this, is, this is Matt's first break. Well, welcome. Maybe there is such a thing as new guy mojo. That does happen. So, maybe you'll, you'll get a little new guy mojo. Matt H has the, looks like the Blue Jays in this one. So good luck. Good luck to everybody. Of course, I want everyone to hit in this. Hi. You oh. just leave it on the, the chair right there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Wait, is this some sort of hot box here? Yeah, that's a gold parallel hot box. Nice. Look at that. Thank you. No, no, it's fine. You can just leave it there. Yeah, okay. that's good. All right, so a lot of time to open up these packs, but we'll start flying through these. Did they? They have. So I saw. I saw dog cards, horse cards. Airplane cards. So what other what what else is in here? Waterfall cards. Waterfall cards? I do like a good waterfall. I love waterfalls. Man, maybe like Victoria Falls, yeah, one of the biggest woo, that's the one I pulled. The Victoria and there was Falls. A boat, like right under it. Just like chilling there. Yeah, yeah, they do those boat tours there. Maybe get some Niagara up in this. I've never been to Canada. Oh man. I'd like to go. I feel like you guys would have done a road trip to when you guys lived up there, no? That's one of the things they would do. Well, now, and now it's like a hassle to go there. Yeah, <laughs> now it will never happen. I mean, it's beautiful, but yeah. it's kind of like you have to really want it because you have to fly into like Buffalo and then drive all the way out yeah. there. And, and then you're like, oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are there moon cards in here too, Gila? Box number one. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to lead off with Mark McGuire. So all of these gold parallels will ship because it's especial. And these minis will flip around. Whoa. We got incredible oh, equipment. Gloves, Johnny Cos Scythe. I thought they had OJ's gloves for a while. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, I like these planes. These are cool. There's the old B-17 Flying Fortress. Man, I gotta buy, buy me a box of this. Collect some old World War II airplanes would be nice. There will be a recap, so um, hit and uh, a hit recap, basically, and other noteworthy stuff. I pulled a Mustang one too. Nice. There's a uh, oh Quinn oh, XI it's not Charlie two two. XI, it's Quinn. Uh, oh, I think Char. I think they Charlie did a collaboration okay. or something like that. I think okay. that's why there's a little confusion there. Because there is a Charlie. XI. All right, so let's slide that hit over. We'll top load those a little bit later. Nice, Thor's hammer, classic. This old timey, ah, the old Cincinnati red stockings, the red legs. We'll look. open all the box toppers at the very end. Another one right there, there's the Papillon. Uh, no, I think I'm just gonna open them as I go along. Okay, I'll just put them in a stack. Then. Okay. Got some, there's the Mustang right there. What a magnificent creature. Another plane? Oh, yeah. Remember when this came to LA? I didn't see it. I was so mad. I think I only saw it on TV. <laughs> but I, I want to go to the museum and see it. Oh, yeah. They're, they're gonna, there's the big space museum here. Right now, I've seen this a couple of times. Right now, it's just um, as is like that. I think this, the, the museum is going to actually stand it up like this. Really? And you can like walk, and you can like walk up. See up it. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. And there'll be like stairways that are that curl around it, so you can walk up the stairway and see the top of it. I saw the Air Force One at the Reagan. Oh yeah, I, I don't think I've been there since they since brought that there. Yeah, and we got our first autograph. A chemist. An That's Lawrence Rocks, a chemist. What what did he? I don't know what he chemist did. What did he chemist? I didn't see any rip card. I'm not. I'm not looking at anything. I'm just opening them. The rip cards in the last one were Mariners and Red Sox. Lawrence rocks. Whoa. Lawrence rocks. No, that's a look. That's a place. What about Lawrence <laughs> rocks the that's chemist? Like, is he a bird? He's not a bird. He's still alive. He's still with us. He has written well, books yeah, on energy crisis. Right. That's right. Biofuel, it's not a sticker auto. He has specifically written about chemistry and sports, specifically baseball. Paul DeJong? Yeah, he worked with professional baseball Paul DeJong on the role of chemistry in baseball. What? Paul DeJong is on the next level. That's crazy. All right, we'll learn more about it here. Let's, uh, He's a supporter of the Palm Beach Sif Symphony. That's cool. All right, there's a link to Lawrence Rocks. We love We've, supporting symphonies. We'll, we'll learn something new. We can, Jaspies can support the LA Philharmonic. Yeah, a million dollars. That's a Messerschmitt ME262. And, wow. Oh, I didn't see that. Yet. Whoa. That's cool. Is that a piece of Thor's hammer? Oh, it is. I bet that sells for a lot. I bet it sells for like a million dollars. That goes to the non-baseball spot, Eric, with that one. That's pretty cool. Wait, what does it say in the back? This relic is not from anything at all. <laughs> That's fine. See, it's a quirk. It's a quirky set. But they once had um, Abraham Lincoln's hair. In it. Lost languages. A couple years ago. That's a language I do not know. Like a D, uh, like a DNA relic. So I don't know if they do them anymore. They ran out of Lincoln's hair. Yeah. <laughs> There's the Great Dane. There's Ermi's sandals. Who I think is Mercury. That's the Roman equivalent, I think. There's Raphael Devers relic for the Red Sox. Walter on the board. Yeah, they kind of do. They're not framed. Nice. Matt is saying the airplane inserts form some sort of panorama when they put together. That's pretty cool. There's the SR-71. Blackbird. 
which I think was developed in Area 51, I want to say. Yeah, all that stealth technology stuff. Oh, sorry, let's get Judge into focus here. I can't wait to break at Area 51. <laughs> we'll do that at some point. We're breaking at Area 51. <laughs> you want to do? You want to do breaks here? Yeah. We know a, no AC out there. Nevada somewhere. Yeah, we'll run a car. Breaking, breaking inside like a an RV. In an RV. Uh, All right, yeah, so the no, no hand numbered minis no spiders, here. Probably. probably, definitely no spiders. Just desert, scary desert spiders. Like lizards and stuff. Gorillas or whatever. All right, let's see what's Good inside. This box, <laughs> desert gorillas out there. <laughs> Sasquatch is probably hitting. We've it. got Christian Yelich, who hit a uh, who hit a big bomb today. All right. Do you think Sasquatch existed or Bigfoot? Oh, yeah. What's the difference between Bigfoot and Sasquatch? I think they're the same thing. Okay. It may be a regional thing. Like some people, it's like. Regional. Yeah, I mean, people. some people may call it Sasquatch, some like people some might call people it something call it else. Za, and some people call it pizza. Right, correct. Okay. Tomato, tomato. Yeah, it's like when you, it's like, I think, I think some, some place in the country they call soda, they just call it pop. pop. Yeah. And then they, some, yeah, they just call it soda. But I think pop. people in Georgia, everything's a Coke. You know, just because we're Coca Cola, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And I call it Chick Fil A, not Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's the Blackbird again. It's Ernie Banks, let's play two. I saw uh, Brooks Robinson on a bot, uh, broadcast today. I think he's uh, he's a he has a bobblehead, Bobble and we've got Alan Ginter, Pudge, Yvonne Rodriguez, Rangers edition going to Daniel Hayes. I wonder why they call him Pudge. Oh, come on, his minis. Face is pudgy. He's, I don't I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe he's just as kind as of a, a maybe he's just kind of a pudgy catcher. He's pretty good, though. Hall of Famer. There's the Plains Apache language. Yeah, the minis fall out all the time for me. It's a disaster. She's kind of cool. Another horse. We have the shuttle, and we've got we got Fallon, Brian Fallon, musician. I don't know Brian. Do you know Brian Fallon? I think it's like a, yeah, I looked it up. I forgot how it Brian Fallon is is oh he's uh he's the guy in Gaslight Anthem. He's also a member of, oh, okay, Horrible Crows. I got it now. There you I go. They got that one great song. Are we going to get the Big Hit Express in this set next time? Chugging okay. along? <laughs> nice. I'm surprised Hops didn't consult us when they were developing this set. Oh, he's also in Molly and the Zombies. Oh, what is this? We got Achilles Armor. And there's Tulowitzki. Johnny O, what's going on? Hey, John. Come on, Jesus Aguilar. Very busy. We've already, this is our second case. We're flying through this case right now. Flying. Bosquiel showing all the good hits. There's old Stormalong's harpoon. Never remembers that legend. There's Hosmer. Caught it. Michael Brantley. Who won the World Series of Poker this year? Not this guy. It's still going on. Someone said last night. 
I think final uh, table was yesterday. Wasn't a Thor's it? Hammer's we, card, we, we pulled that relic, the Thor's Hammer's relic, what, 500 bucks? Yeah, like $5,000. You think so? No, I don't know. But uh, those always go for Those always go for something surprising. There's Victoria Falls. Nice. Look out below, it says. Oh, there's Evan Longoria. Let's finish off the box. The Rohesian Ridgeback. Um, some relics, but the coolest thing we've we've pulled so far is Thor's hammer. Yep, this relic is not from anything at all, but it'll still probably go for a zillion dollars. I think we have a booklet in this pack. Ooh, a I'm booklet. Gonna, I'm going to save it. All right, let's look for know? some of the hand-numbered cards. All right, so nothing there. Yeah, what, what does everyone think? Oh, Ensign won last night. Dwill's saying that it's, it's over. It's done. Oh, okay. And we'll be sorting out all of the short prints and all that stuff, so don't worry about those. Just in the interest of time. I'm just going to breeze through those. So, Johnny O, you think three? I said five, but yeah, three, three to five sounds pretty, pretty good. There's Chris Bryant. I just bet, I bet because it's Thor, it gets a whole new audience out when you right. collect it. Avengers audience, maybe. Yeah, Marvel, Avengers. Uh, I think this box was one Nick did already a little bit earlier. So each stack will represent a box, ladies and gentlemen. In case you're fast forwarding through the video and want to keep track. All right. We're moving along nicely. Good luck, everybody. Let's take advantage, ladies and gentlemen, of of Nick while he's here. Egg. Yeah, it's the most like photo ever on Instagram. What? It's got like I think um I think um, someone <laughs> said that um, Gavin said it was at fifty three million now. So now once it just got momentum, everyone just wants to like Egg now. Yeah, so they want to be There's part Don Quixote's Lance. I played Don Quixote, I think. What? In a, like a play. You played Don Quixote in a play? Yeah, isn't that like a play? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a, yeah. it's a classic book, yeah. yeah. There's like Justin Smoke. Maybe I played his, like, partner, I forget. Don, Don Quixote is a... It's pretty heavy for fourth oh, grade. I would get, I would get leads. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Smoke, Blue Jays. Midsummer's Nice Dream, I got like the, the main guy. Demetrius, what's his name? Wow. Something like that. Yeah. And Nick Loki, good actor. Yeah. I passed up my Hollywood career for. For, for case breaking, for, cards, for, for the lucrative for the world of, of. For the love of the game. Love of the hobby. There's Hermes. Hermes. Sandal. Oop. Another mini card wants to jump out there. That's Tori Hunter. Another mini. Oh, there. yeah, I remember that big foot card. Yeah, we were talking about the DNA relics. They used to do like of Lincoln, JFK. They had a bunch of really We have the Valley in Bloom. And like you were like thinking, is that really real? Um, I think we've seen a rip card. I don't think anyone's ripped a rip card yet. Correct. People have gotten, they're, they were scared. We'll let them rip it. If they want to. Corbin Burns for Eric and the Brew Crew. Framed mini autograph. Ooh, nice. So Johnny O confirming what we were discussing a little bit earlier, that there are uh, box hoppers. I think we have a booklet in the next one. Joe's about to do. This one right here. So Kip is saying that there's already a Thor's hammer relic. Wait, you can plant those cards? Cool. Stop. We should we should get some of these. We have, we have like a little green space in the back of our parking lot. We can plant some of those. This is why I love the quirkiness of Ginter. Curtis, well, everyone else is charging like 
eight thousand dollars for it, we but we're charging it for the low, low price of one sixty something. One sixty nine. One seven hundred seventy bucks. But yeah, other guys are charging way too much. David Dahl. Yeah, for the non-sports spot, which gets everything. The dogs, the flowers, the airplanes, the GMs, the chemists, all that I stuff. I it too low. Next time it'll be 270 because everyone's saying that. Wait, Matt H is like, wow, run more, pick your teams? So are you saying we price it too low? <laughs> I'll just price, I'll price the non-sport to 300 and then I'll won't lower any of <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Come on, Bernie's Mountain Dog. Yeah, I mean, they were up there actually for a little bit, like at least half an hour. There's Arthur Peru's sword right there, King Arthur's sword. There's the Blackbird. On the website. Scooter. All right, nice. Hi Grissom, yeah, we pulled a, a Thor's hammer relic. Now we're looking at all these minis to see if there's anything hand numbered. I don't see a plant it or keep it, Johnny O. Maybe some of them, maybe they don't all have them. That'd be cool if they made a one pack per box Ginter. Like a high end Ginter? Like one pack, Hi, Lauren. Lauren Reardon, Lauren? Or Rando Lauren? So yeah, these apparently, some of them, you can, some of them say on the back, plant, plant it or keep it. This one we can't plant. Yeah, I mean, you could plant it, but I don't think anything will happen. <laughs> ah, Lauren K. Hi, Lauren K. Different one. All right, there's Javier Baez, box topper. Ooh, and that may be a book right there, ladies and gentlemen. This could be a book, see? So let's keep the box topper here, the book right here. Let's do this box first. The non-sport goes to whoever bought the non-sport spot. Yeah, we sold the non-sport spot. What, Thor's hammer is, I mean, is a pretend relic, but that's the the quirkiness of the set everyone loves. There's the, the Wright Brothers playing. No, not the Wright Brothers playing. This is some French dudes playing. Alberto Santos Dumont. Looked like the Wright Brothers, but that does not look like Kitty Hawk, so. I should have known. What are you trying to say? There's not Santa Claus? What? Yeah, what are you trying to say, Lauren? Santa Claus obviously exists. They went to the North Pole. Tops went to the North Pole and got that relic. No, the Santa Claus code is real. Thor's hammer. I'm sure it came from a hammer. Some sort of metal Thor's device. Thor's not real. Yeah, I'm trying to say Thor's not real, too. Superheroes don't exist. Just, just <laughs> making kids cry right now. As you know we what speak. Cespedes Family BBQ is? Uh, Walter Summers for the Red Sox. I know. I saw you. I heard you mention that. What is the Cespedes uh, Family Barbecue? I don't know what a Cespedes Family BBQ is. Is that where he like broke his ankle? It's like a bar on his ranch. <laughs> no, it's like not Joanna Cespedes. What? It's like these two white guys in the card. Oh, so they they have some barbecue restaurant <laughs> named after Joanna no, Cespedes? No, it's like a baseball account or something. I don't what? Know. I'm not in tune with baseball Twitter. No, I think they got actually got Santa's coat, Lauren. Like the coat is real. Authentic coat.
A Rory shop pulled a fossilized whale bone today. Ah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they've got they've got some goofy stuff in this. Wait, is Santa in this set this year? No. It's Paul Bunyan's axe. They did and a top, axe. top Santa set though. This is Ginter Pickerton 2. We need like some kid in a lemonade stand, some homemade lemonade. Yeah, poison it? No thanks. You think the kids are gonna poison it? That would be bad for their their summer business. The kids around here, you never know. That's <laughs> true. They, they because they want they're like they want to be pranksters they're and skateboarding so. Skateboarding and vaping at twelve yeah. years old. They put like. They, yeah, you're probably right. Emily Jensen, there's like, oh, now you're in a prank video. Yeah, they you put get like a thousand views. Yeah, they put like in it or whatever. Probably, yeah. You're right, you're right. Uh, that was uh, minor league GM Emily Jansen. That'll go to the the uh, non sports spot. Santa can't get through. Yeah, now the biggest scam in airlines. So you have to pay to pick your own seat. You have to pay to get into economy. What? Into economy? So now they have basic economy and premium economy. They, then they There's have, another in bloom which you cannot plant. Then they have business class and first class. That's wild. So you have to pay. Well, some cards, Lauren, will have, some cards you can literally plant into the ground. <laughs> and, they'll, and they'll flower with that particular flower, but not all of them. There's Aaron Judge. The secret is that most people won't pay for the exit aisle. So most oh, so we should just buy exit aisle seats? No, so Curtis is saying don't pay for it and then you'll get randomly signed it. Oh, I see. Those are the best seats. So much leg room there. Yeah, there is. And then sometimes you see like these really old like people on it and you're like, is that person gonna save me? This is a book. There's a plane on the front and a mini. Vlad Guerrero Senior. <laughs> I like how they put a mini in there. <laughs> yeah. And the book is gonna be BAM. Wow, Tori Hunter. Patch. Ooh, great patch on this side. Game oh, use nice. memorabilia. Eight out of ten on that book. That is really nice. That will be for Kale with the twins. There you go, Kale. All right, there's the next stack here. Curtis talking about trips to Calgary to London. I don't, I'm not hearing any Calgary to LA, Nick, yeah. from Curtis. What's yeah. up with that? A lot, lot of traveling, What's but it? apparently car shops are in London? apparently not to Los Angeles. No car shops in London? Just cold. There's no case breaking in it's London. Rain. Yeah, there ain't no case breaking out there. I don't know one case breaker in London, which is kind of crazy. If you think of and the case breakers that are in London are just garbage. They're terrible. <laughs> There's Cupid's bow. I think that about America. <laughs> There's Mariano Rivera, who, did you see that story on MLB Network or MLB.com where they were saying that there was for half a second a possibility of a, a like rookie Mariano Rivera could have been traded to the Mariners. There you go, Kale. Nice. Kale had a rip. 
There's Willie Adams, autograph for the Rays. That'll be for Eric Rittenhouse. Come on, man. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> These minis are flying all over the place. Let's get Roy Halliday into focus here. I need a standing guy. Oh, yeah. Grab, grab one from the back. Get a seat. Yeah, I'll get one up there. I'm already almost done here. There's the Concord. Radical King Dong. <laughs> Just bought it into his first break with us. Nice. Good luck. There's the uh, Huan Guoshu waterfall in China, Thailand. I passed on that. I didn't say it. I just said waterfall. China. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, the pinball machines. Is, the Avengers machine is over there. And the Williams slug test. No, you're not into it? Yeah. I just haven't played it. This looks like the uh, the airplane at the beginning of Raiders of the Temple of Doom. Harrison Ford has autographs in this. Oh, does he? Do you think... I mean, you're going to pick Justin Star Berlin. Wars, right? What do you mean? What's a better performance? Oh, Indiana no, Jones. Indiana Jones. He, he's, you he, think so? Well, yeah, because he, like, that's yeah, his own that's thing. His there, own there's thing. no Mark Hamill. There's no yeah. Darth Vader. There's no sure. whatever. It's just all him. I saw Paul and it was like... I don't know. Indian. I think I think the Crystal Skull movie kind of hurt the Indiana Jones brand That's a little one bit. With, um, Shia, Shia LaBeouf. Mm -hmm. That kind of hurt the brand, That's the only, the Indiana the Jones brand. Really? Oh, yeah. you gotta watch the other. Really? And then I was like, this is trash. Uh, this is trash, right? No, you gotta watch the other ones. Okay. You gotta watch the other one. Raiders of the Lost Ark is great. I'll watch it. Best Indiana Jones movie, ladies and gentlemen. What's the first one? Raiders of the Lost Ark. I might have seen. Raiders I think Raiders of the Lost Ark was first, then Temple of Doom, then Last Crusade. Is Shia LaBeouf one called Last Crusade? No, Shia LaBeouf's The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, I've seen Last that. Crusade has um, has Sean Connery in it as Harrison Ford's dad, which they try to recycle in uh -huh. The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. There's Merlin's staff trying to be like, oh, let's do the whole dad thing again. You like that one with Shia? Lauren says, no, come on, come on, Lauren, come on, that wasn't, it wasn't good, especially compared to the quality of the other ones, there's gold medalist, someone Knight, Hillary Knight, we won hockey gold, is she American, is she American, I didn't realize we won a gold medal, all right, there you go, yay us, yeah, this was <laughs> last year, you don't remember that? The game was at like 2 a.m. I think, right? Oh yeah, that's probably what I didn't. Something crazy. I think they beat Canada. I don't remember if you know. Was it romantic? I don't know if it was romantic. They got the guy from Parks and Recreation in here too. What is this? Oh, that's David Slingshot. Got it. Yeah. Screw you, Goliath. I mean, I saw it. I don't think. I don't think romance. I think. I think the one. Where Marion Ravenwood was in the original Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark, there there was there was more there was more chemistry there than it was this time around. Come on, minis. Right, so there's no no hand numbered minis back here. Let's do the box topper. Move on to the next uh, next stack. It's Ronald Acuna Jr. for the Braves. That'll be for Eric. Oh, it's like this guy, Brian Fallon. And then Post Malone's in it. Oh, that's right. Post Malone is the best, right? Um, Quinn XC. 
XCIX? I don't know. Yeah. I know Charlie XCX, but is that this, like a collaboration? I don't know. And then All right. Kazu's wife is in it. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. She's an artist. Okay. So. Nobody wanted to rip their cards out? No, no rip cards from this case either. I think one of them from the last case was definitely a metal card. They're not guaranteed per case, right? Yeah, I think they're guaranteed two oh, per case. Oh, they are two per case? Oh, so nice. Well, I think, yeah, you get one on every side, right? Yeah. Gotcha. I don't know if a book replaces it. Uh, not yet, Mike Tower. I feel like it was a cheaper rip card. Yeah. I mean, I think last, the last two I hit were you hit. You rip. Like, we hit a Babe Ruth Joe DiMaggio. I don't think you ripped that. Or yeah. Babe Ruth Luke Or do you rip it? Gary didn't rip the 505 that he got. Because it's hard to get a card that's worth more in size, unless it's like a trout red ink or something. Yeah. Reed Foley, rookie mini autograph. Yeah. Yeah. That goes to Matt Hastings. There you go, Matt. Matt H. on the board. It's his first break with us. That's right, EA. Horses, dogs, airplanes, baseball, waterfalls, mythical weapons. Welcome to Ginter. This is Pick Your Team 2, ladies and gentlemen. You got the Nick Cam above my head. He's helping us out. Making this break a lot faster than it would be if we did this Where solo. Are the they are in. Oh, yeah, the one bathroom. Right, we got flowers for the girls, too. Flowers for the ladies. Some of, you, some of those flower cards you can plant, boys and girls. There's Angel Falls, classic. We haven't seen this plane yet. There's the Boeing 707. And there's Sal Perez for the Royals. That's going to go to Kip Kip Hooray and the Royals. Hey, hey, what's going on, hey? What up? There's Hercules Club. I think he clubbed a lion with that club, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think there are Harrison Ford autographs in here, too. Oh, it's not real? Hercules? Is no, 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 no. Um, it's Har Harrison Ford's in this uh, set, right? Oh, oh, I see. Hercules Club is real, obviously. <laughs> There's, I don't know who, Re Ray, Ray Butcher? Stand-up comedian? No. Funny guy? Good hair. We haven't seen the Big Hit Express yet. Really good hair. And it's chugging along yeah. soon. What, Ray Butcher? Yeah. He's got a good hair and makeup girl. Some people just have the hair. Some good show hair. It's good flow, like Bryce Harper. He's got Bryce good Harper's good got good show good hair. Flow. There's the scythe. That soccer player? Good hair. Pretty much every soccer There's player. the Concord. There's egg. It's all ripped. All right, all the boxes are done. Thank you, Nick. Now let's take a look at the backs of these mini cards. Let me see if any of these are hand numbered. All right, nothing there. Slide these over. There's the topper. And we got Mookie Betts. Next box. Oh, it's her hair. All right. Fair enough. All right, let's save this box hopper over here. There we go. All right. 
Good luck, everybody. I want a horse. Should we get a horse for the store horse? Or we'd like the number three. Ooh. And then the optic baseball. It's sold out, but we just need to sell out the team random, which has nine left. There you go. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com for all of that. All right, there is Ryan Healy. I forgot that he was a Mariner. That goes to uh, John with the Mariners. There's Sean Doodle coming into focus. Space Shuttle, Lou Brock. We've got Odin's Throne. Odin's Throne. It sounds like a, the uh, ADT alarm thing that announces when something's going on. It sounds like it's a, we're like at an airport. The white zone is for loading and unloading only. There's no parking in the red zone. And we've got, oh, a rip card, a double rip card. Seven out of 10. It'll be a randomizer between the Royals Kip Kip Hooray, and the Cardinals, Eric Rittenhouse. So I'm going to set this over here. You'll see it on the camera right here. I'm going to set that right over here. Look at the top camera above my head. So we'll save that right there for the randomizer. There's another flower card, the Oriental Poppy. There you go. That sounds like... It sounds like something you make H with. Maybe they won't let you grow that. Well, we have to randomize it first. And then we'll see if that person wants to rip it or not. And there's Carlos Correa relic for the Astros. Jim Bly with the Strohs. There's Shane Bieber. There's first Tiger Mask. Chipper. Walker Bueller. Roger. Head, George. All right, let's check out the backs of these to see if any of these are hand numbered. Um, Jordan think or if both people want to rip, each person gets their side of the mini card. It's not a bad idea, but no, it'll be randomized though. All right, there's Chris Bryant, box topper. And the next box. So we have one, two, three, four, five boxes left. So we should be able to breeze through these pretty easily.
Eric Bailey, yes. I think one or two rip cards per case is what we've been hearing from the crew. What's up, Robert Rohr? What's going on? Doing well. Mentally preparing for what should be a nonstop day of breaks. It'll be a lot of long breaks today. And there's this guy. <laughs> it's uh, uh, Augie Carton, brewer and podcast host. I've never, has anyone had any of his, his brews? That'll be for the non-spot, the non-baseball, non-sports spot. Eric with that one. There's Elvis Andrews. Elvis Andrews for the Rangers. Daniel Hayes with Elvis. Um, do I prefer Goodwin Champions or Allen and Ginter? I think both are pretty cool, but if I had to choose one, I think it would be Allen and Ginter. I want to go to all of these waterfalls. Lassos here. Robert Rohr says, "You're not crazy about Alan Ginter as a collector? No, this is not. This is not for everybody." There's uh, Jose Barrios for the Twins. Kale with the Twinkies. This is a very <laughs> weird and quirky set. But this is still very much a very popular set builder's product. A lot of people love building all the sets for like, you know, there's someone out there building the horse set, you know, there's someone out there building the airplane set, you know, like this one right here. Someone's collecting all of, all of these lost language minis and putting them together and collecting all of those. And it's a fun, fun project. All right, let's look at the backs of these. And we've got a 10 out of 25 Chance Adams. We've got a red back mini. Nice, let me actually make myself a little extra room here. behind me here. I'm going to put all this stuff. Chance Adams Mini for the Yankees. That's going to go to Edward H.
All right, box topper. It's Glaber Day. Glaber Torres, Yankees. Let's slide the next stack over here. All right, good luck, everybody. Don Rab is saying, and Lauren is saying, if anybody builds the horse set, they'd be interested in buying. There's Santa's sleigh. The old Harrier. It can go up and down like a helicopter. And there's Andrew Benintendi, another relic for Walter and the Red Sox. Another waterfall. There it is, along the Venezuelan border. I'm not sure if I can even pronounce that. Cuquinam, Quinyan Falls. I haven't seen a stained glass yet. Mike Tower says, looks like rip cards can contain red mini autos, exclusive mini parallels, mini metals, mini wood, or a one of a kind sketch card. Now, <laughs> Eric Bailey, uh, well, I kind of want to chase those waterfalls. There's the Wright Brothers plane right there. Although, d does that really look like Kitty Hawk? I kind of want to chase those waterfalls and not stick to the rivers and the lakes that I'm used to. Fact, Mike Tower, yeah, I, I was disappointed in Tops. Tops, let it be known that I'm disappointed in you guys for not including the pug in your canine companion set. But if you want a pug for, for next year, allow me, allow me to submit this pug right here. So, you know, just, just saying that we've got, a, we've got a pug just ready for a photo shoot in case you're gonna put in some pug cards next year. And there's Odubel Herrera. Once the store is complete, we may see more of that pug around town, around these parts. There's Thor's hammer, and there is Josh Hader. That's a mini Brewers autograph for Eric. Nice. Matt has a pug and a Yorkie. How, how old is your pug, Matt? They put, they put a French bulldog in there, but no pugs. There's the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. We'll do the minis in the box topper and three more boxes to go.
Oh, 12 years old. Oh, deaf and blind in one eye. Poor little guy. Bubba the Pug is maybe almost three years old now. He, he's got a ways to go. There's Yosemite Falls. Nice, that goes to the non-baseball spot. Big fan of the Yosemite Falls, beautiful. Let's do this one way over here. That's right, Eric Bailey. Yeah, we're gonna turn this into like a like a startup or like a tech company. Just dogs all over the place. No, I mean, I'll have my own little. I've got my own little studio here, so my own little office. So I'll be able to keep him in here, so he doesn't cause too much trouble. He's still got a lot of puppy energy. So there's the black-eyed Susan. I don't think you can plant this one either. Some of them you you can plant. We've learned. There's Anthony Rizzo. A lot of things to learn in this set too, which I really like. Eric Rittenhouse with this one. Also, the floors here don't have carpet, so. The pug sheds. It'll be much easier to clean. You don't understand how a car can grow flowers. You can see those at certain, uh, Lauren, if you go to a nursery, you can find um, like paper sort of things. Like paper is just tree pulp, right? So you can, you can make, you know, tree pulp and then you can embed seeds in it and then you can bury that, and then the uh, paper will biodegrade into the earth, leaving the seeds, growing the flower. There you go, Don's got it. Yeah, the seeds are inserted into biodegradable. That was an easier way to say it. Yes, there is a rip card that we need to randomize between the Royals and the Cardinals, so let's see. And I think the first case that Nick did earlier today had a couple uh, rip cards as well. I think both people in the first break opted not to rip. All right, there is Bo Jackson. Piece of Bo Jackson's lumber for Kip and the Royals. There are the red stockings, goes to the reds. Steve Olson saying, is Ginter the only thing breaking today? No. It doesn't have to be. It could be. But that's, that depends on what the people want to do. If all the people want to do is Ginter, we'll do Ginter all day long. If we switch gears to Donner's Optic, we can do that. If we, we can do the football mixer today if we want to. Do whatever you want on jazbeescasebreaks.com. But remember, folks, if there are breaks you want to do, make sure you buy early and often and buy into and fill as many breaks as possible because with these longer sort of breaks, you know, Ginter takes a long time. Like if I do Ginter solo, Nick, I had help from Nick today. If I do Ginter solo, it takes about an hour and a half. Donner's Optic Baseball also takes about an hour. So that will, that will eat up chunks of our evening uh, pretty quickly. All right, there's Sato. 
Mayumi Sato. We know uh, her, her and her husband as well. She does a lot of the, she did a lot of the baseball sketches, or the baseball art you saw in Transcendent maybe a year or so ago. Matthew Stubblefield, there is no celeb spot. No, but there is like a non-baseball spot, which encompasses all of that. And I think I think that celeb that non-baseball spot um, in all the breaks that are on jazbeescasebreaks.com have been purchased already. So, oh, sorry. Yeah, that was one of the first things to go. No worries, man. What is this? Is this the Thunder? Oh no, it's the Bell X one. on the backs of those, but these will ship because they're considered inserts. All right, the topper. It is the Bang Geog de Tion Falls. Well, that looks pretty cool. I feel like I could, it's probably a nice little lagoon to go swimming in. Probably pretty dangerous. All right, two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there. Slide that over this way. And that's the box topper for that particular box. Good luck, ladies and gents. We'll go through some orders after this, um, and then we'll see what else we're going to uh, get into tonight. Just a quick look at the site, just so we can get ahead of ourselves. We've got Donner's Optic 1 sold out right now with just nine spots left in the Team Random, 35.99 Team Random. That's another new release. And Pick Your Team 3 of Ginter is down to four teams left. So those look like those are looking like our next uh, couple breaks. There's the Red Sox right there. And there's Rick Porcello, also for Walter. Lols, what's going on? There's Max Muncy. There's Ichiro Mini. We'll look at the backs of those. What's this? It's flipped around that way for some reason. Yeah, Matt. If we were if we were to randomize that non baseball spot, we definitely would have would have mentioned that in the description. Maybe I'll have Nick uh, make that update to the other existing ones, just so it's even more clear. There's Raphael Devers, another Red Sox for Walter. I know. I saw the egg. You like that egg? It's got a zillion likes on Instagram or something like that on the IG. I don't know how fast the Tigers went. What, who, who's on the Tigers? There's the B-17 Flying Fortress. Um, I think we do have more Ginter after three and four. I saw we might have a, like maybe one or two more after the ones on the site right now. There's <laughs> egg again. Logan, what's going on? Mark Matson, what's going on? Not pulled the big hit express yet in this mini set. 
It's there. It should be there. And there's Jesus Aguilar for the Brewers, Eric and the Brew Crew. And there's Wilson Contreras for the Cubbies. Eric Rittenhouse with the Cubs. The Pied Piper's Pipe. box topper. Oh, let's go to the backs first. Rory's saying, let's close that optic. Yeah, we should. I'll be going through orders after this. We've got Ronald Acuna Jr. Braves box hopper for Eric Rittenhouse. And the last box coming up. We did it. Thanks, everybody. So as it stands now, this break has taken us about just a little over an hour. If I had to rip, if I had to do this solo, it'll probably be like an hour and a half, maybe even more. So I would try to fill up the next any next break. Ginter especially, and try to get that sold out while Nick, I think, is still here. Maybe we can convince him to help us again so we can squeeze in some more breaks tonight. Relic right here. It's it's Loretta Claiborne, Claiborne, Special Olympics athlete. Goes to the non-baseball spot. Oh, come on, Minnie. Sorry, Ty Cobb. the Corgi and, the, and a Piscotti and a Vladdy <laughs> the old Dizzy Bat classic how many left are in pick your team two I'm not sure but if you check jaspyscasebreaks.com you can see the spots left number I can check for you once I'm done with this last box here, too. And another rip card. 60 out of 75. This is for the Rangers. This is for Daniel Hayes. I don't know if Daniel Hayes is in the room right now. There you go. Jordan and Mark's got you. Radical.
we got Miles Mikolas. Relic for the Cardinals. Eric with that one. He looks like a player that could have played when Alan Ginter was originally out. With that mustache, especially. That mustache sells it. John Lester. Another mini. We've got a horse. We've got a Johnny Jump Up. We're going to learn a lot about what we're going to do with our gardens with that set. Oh, I love a good, good boxer. All right, there you go. I'm not sure if Daniel Hayes is in the room, but rip, no rip. Looks like Ginter 3 and 4 have sold out, or are they in team randoms? No, looks like they've both sold out straight up. Nice, so Ginter 3 and 4 coming up, ladies and gentlemen. All right, the box topper is going to be Jacob deGrom for the Mets. Nice for Eric. All right, now, looks like no word on that, so we'll let Daniel decide for himself once he gets it in the mail. See if he wants to rip it or not. There's the Cardinals, and there are the Royals. That's our only randomizer. So let's switch over to this screen. There we go. So we got, I guess, what's the front of the card was technically the, I don't know what the front of the card is. We'll go St. Louis KC. All right, let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list. Three and a four, seven times. Team on top gets it after seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time after seven times. It stays with Kansas City. And that is for Kip, Kip Hooray. There you go, Kip. That goes to you. The double rip card, seven out of 10. Thanks, everybody. That was 12 box picker team two of Topps Allen & Ginter Baseball, brand new release today. And we've got more coming up. So stay tuned for that on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.